Hello and welcome to this Christmas beard clipper video. In this video I'm going to show you the little adjustments and the additions that I put onto our Christmas railway which we have running around the bottom of our main tree. Uh, I love it, Rosie loves it uh, and it's become a little bit of a tradition to add a little bit more every year and this year is no different. So I really hope you enjoy this video. I'm actually already excited for 2024 uh, and what I'm going to add next year, but I've got to wait quite a while to do that. Uh, so this is a really exciting thing for me. Um, and uh, yeah, hopefully it might inspire you to put something around your tree. I had a comment uh, earlier this year from someone who said that watching one of the earlier videos in this series had caused him to go and do it, which is just the best thing in the world. I absolutely love that. So uh, if you're watching this video, can't remember your name. Sorry, my memory is too bad. Thank you very much for that message. It put a smile on my face and hopefully this will also inspire you to, uh, to do a bit more. Anyway, thank you very much for watching. Let me know what you think in the comments below and happy Christmas. It may not feel like it very much, but Christmas is on its way. And so I need to start thinking about my next addition for our Christmas railway. And I've ordered a fair few bits, but the first thing I'm going to do, and I'm actually going to do this for the layout, for the layout, is this Geschenke set HO1140, which is a Christmas gift set. So it has a little Christmas tree with a little star and um, what have you. And then it has uh, baubles to go on the tree. Let me just shake these out. There we are. So it has a bunch of baubles that can go on the tree. That's what these are, if you can see that. And then it has a whole load of presents. <laughs> so that actually had fallen off. So the way that it works, and the instructions are actually quite clear. I've been having a quick look at them just now. They're all in German, but the pictures are good. So you take the little box and you drop the little kind of like wrapping paper thing on. You do it with glue and that's how you assemble it. So pretty simple. And then as you can see here, really, really clear instructions of how we assemble the star and then how we do the baubles. So I'm going to make a couple off camera and then try to work out whether I can get some footage of how I'm assembling them for the camera. But yeah, I'm just going to start to put these together and I think that's going to be a really nice thing to add on to the, to the layout for this year. Uh, I may do the other stuff that I've bought as well, but I'm not sure, but certainly I'm going to do this. Well, this is going to be a little fiddly to record, but uh, actually really quite nice. I wanted to show you. So I've done a couple and I'm going to do this one on camera. So I'm going to take the blue sprue and I'm going to snip off one of the larger presents here. That very easily snips off. And uh, what you can see is you've got two sides to it. So you've got a side that ha has uh, an indent in it and a side that doesn't. So we'll take the side that has the indent, put that on the top. And then what we'll do is on the silver one, We'll take one of these, which is the longer present wrap wrapping paper. That's what it's designed to look like. So we'll snip one of those off. And then, oh, my uh, super glue's gone a bit nuts. We'll just put a little bit of super glue on. Apologies for the difficulty in filming this. It's very fiddly. Just put a dot of super glue on there. And then taking the silver thing that we did before, and this is going to be a struggle to get on camera and actually let you see, what you do basically is you force it down over the top. So let's see if I can get that done. There we are. Oh, it's not on at that end. There we are, so that's on. And then what I'm doing is I'm using the flat of my blade. There we are too push it down in and that worked less well than any of the others I think I might have picked the wrong wrapping for that yes I did Ack. oh well I can bend it in and it'll be fine so that just goes to show do something on camera and you make a mistake I didn't realize that there were two different sizes of present and therefore two different sizes of wrapper so I believe that the wrapping I used should have been put onto let's get the blue should be put onto that one there not that one but it's super glued on now it's not going to come off so that would just have to be how it is but yeah it's pretty easy I, I have before this one done a test fitting of the wrapping paper 
and I should have done that as well. So that's what you need to do. Just do a test fitting, you get it right. But as you can see, they look really pretty and I'm really happy. So I'm gonna get the rest of these built um, and I'll show you what it looks like when it's done. Well, there we are. That was actually a lot easier to put together than I expected. When I looked at that packet at first and I opened the box, I was really, really worried that it wasn't gonna work very well and they were gonna be a real pain. But they went together really well, so I can really recommend this kit. And I've just also done the tree, as you can see. Now, it's not very stable. It's definitely gonna to have to be glued down. It doesn't stand under its own, on its own. And I've not yet done the baubles, um, but I, yeah, that's good. That's worked out really well as well. I did manage to accidentally pull one of the branches off, but I'll just use a bit of super glue to stick it back on. Um, but yeah, that's been much quicker than I expected. So uh, I'm gonna actually put it back in the box um, and uh, I'll do the baubles just before I start to uh, put it onto the uh, layout, just the day before I put it on the layout, so I don't wanna lose them. So I'm gonna keep the baubles and the presents and the tree in this bag, put that back in the box. And then in the next couple of weeks, uh, I will be, I'll be put it onto the uh, layout. There's no point in bringing the layout down now just to do that. I honestly expected that to take longer. That's been super quick. Highly recommend Geschenke Set HO1140 from Bush. If you want to have a Christmas scene anywhere in small scale like this, that's an awesome little bit of kit. Hey, it's come time. We're about to put the uh, Christmas tree up and so I need to finish my additions for the um, for the railway and that includes and involves this little tree so I'm not gonna do much of this on camera because it's gonna be super fiddly and yeah I'll probably sit down in a slightly better lit area but when I have all of my lights on and it's well lit it doesn't really film very well but anyway so what we're gonna do is a little dip of super glue on the top and we're gonna drop it this is this is this is what it's like working with me <laughs> Drop it and put the super glue on the bench. Oh well, never mind. So put a little dip of super glue on the end and not drop it this time. There we are. And then come along and stick it in to the tree. And it doesn't work. Right, I'm going to get a few of these done not on camera. Um, and then I'll come back and show you tell you what worked, because that didn't work. So I'm gonna have to look at it with better light and not worrying about the camera views. So it turns out a good stable base, a little bit better light, and that was actually relatively easy. It was just that I wasn't in the best of position. So I've got them all glued on now. Didn't bother filming because I really needed to be able to move it around and go in, in odd angles. Uh, so what we're gonna do now is go through and uh, get this put onto the, onto the railway, along with the, let's bring them over, just here, along with the presents that I made a little while ago. So yeah, and I also actually have another thing that's gonna go on. It's gonna be a nice little vignette, nice little scene. Are these people carrying trees, carrying Christmas trees. I'm gonna have them walking around near the presents and the trees. So let's go through to the lounge. We've already brought the uh, railway down to be put, put by the tree. Go through to the lounge and get these put in place. So here is the uh, layout. Um, and if you've not seen it before, there are two videos already on my channel, which I will attempt to remember to link. But yeah, so over here, we have some people sliding on snow and having some fun, and there's a snowman. Uh, and what I'm thinking of doing, because it sits as, as you see it, so this is the front, this is the bit you can see the most, the tree goes in the middle, and the back part you can't really see very much at all. So what I'm thinking of doing is taking this tree, and setting it down somewhere over here towards the very front of where the layout sits. Putting a load of the presents all around it and then having these people coming along the side of the railway towards the tree. And then I'm not sure what I'll do with these other two trees. I might just leave them in the packet and use them for something else. So that's the plan at the moment. So what I'll do firstly is a bit of super glue on the bottom of the tree and get that stuck in place. Let's do that. This super glue might be running out. Oh, there's some, there is some, good. So get that in there. And I'm gonna set that down kind of in here so there's a bit of support for it. And I'm probably gonna have to hold it for a bit to make sure it sticks. So what I'll do is I'll come back when that's stuck and uh, show you how we're gonna put these presents in and the people. And I managed to get it to stick by using my 
gel glue and some super glue activator. So now what I'm doing is starting to drop these presents in. So a dab of super glue and then drop the present on. And we'll find out whether this is working after we've done a few. So again, I'm going to crack on with this, turn the camera off, you don't need to see all of this. And I will show what it looks like when I've got them all in place. But so far I think this is actually working, so that's good. I do just need to make sure that when I'm putting them down, I'm putting them down with the bow on the top. So otherwise they don't look all that enticing the other way around. So we are. Right, I'll get this done and I'll bring you back in a few minutes. Oh, drop the one and it's got out of hand. There we are, I wants to go there. Ha, yeah, I'll bring you back when I've done this, hopefully in just a few minutes in real time and a few seconds in your time. Well, super glue activator was my friend there again. So I'm really pleased that I have that. But that's now done and they're all pretty well secured in place. So what we're going to do now, like I say, we're going to have a group of people running from this direction. If I get it to go in shot okay. Yep, there we are. Might just zoom out a little bit more. So we're going to have them coming along this direction, running along by the tracks. So we'll get into this box and uh, get these miniatures out and then... Uh, yeah, get them glued in place. Almost certainly require super glue activator again. <laughs> and uh, then the then the adjustments for the layout for this year will be done. I do need to clean the tracks, which I will get done. And I believe that Angela said she wants to put the tree up possibly tomorrow. So uh, yeah, we're, we're perfectly, perfectly in time to get this done. So all of the miniatures have just fallen out all over the place as I was opening it. <laughs> including one that's gone, I don't know where. So let me get that, find that, oh, there he is, there he is, there he is. So yeah, we're gonna start to stick these little people coming along through the snow, going towards the, uh, going towards the Christmas tree. So I'll get those stuck in place and show what it looks like when it's done. And done. So we've got the dude carrying the tree here. We've got a guy stopped here, we've got a mummy and daughter and child here, and we've got the kid who's run ahead and reached the presents. So that's a really, really nice little vignette, and I uh, really hope Rosie likes it, and I hope that it survives the year. It should do, just to be careful when we put our, our, um, our baubles up that we don't knock them. But yeah, that's, uh, that's pretty cool. So just so you can see what the kit is that I'm using, it's actually from Noch, and it's their Chris Baumverkauf. Chris, Chris Baumverkauf, whatever. Sorry, my German's terrible. Uh, number 15927, um, and that's the uh, pack that I've put on there. So, yeah, get the tree up, get the train running, show what it looks like. Well, hey, the, uh, the Christmas train is running again, past the new little display at the front here. Very cool. So that'll be there for when Rosie gets home from school. Well, there we are. What could be better than a Christmas tree underneath a Christmas tree, surrounded by presents, when the Christmas tree is surrounded by presents? <laughs> and I really like the little people as well. They've worked out really awesomely. And myself and Rosie have sat watching the train go round uh, several times now. In this only the 4th of December as I record this. Uh, so several evenings we've spent a little bit of time sat watching the train go round. She turns it on and off, she controls it, which is awesome. Um, and yeah, it's a really nice little tradition. So let me know what you think in the comments below. However, if you don't want to comment, that's absolutely fine. Uh, thank you for watching the video, much appreciated. Um, and as always to everyone, please do stay healthy, stay safe, stay well, and happy Christmas.